Okay guys, this is my Note 4, running custom software for a week or so now. And here are my thoughts about does it worth it and what's new. So does it worth it? Totally yes. The phone works really fast, even faster than before. It's really smooth. It's still running Android 5.1.1, but feels like running Android 6, if you can understand what I mean. So let's start with this. The software here. Is QB, Kyubi, or whatever ROM. And the version of the ROM is 23, I believe, but let's find out. Da -da -da. Yeah, version 23. Speed, really fast. Mm, RAM management works a bit better than before. Everything loads faster. Everything. Games work smoother. Battery life is a bit better. Not huge difference there, but it's a bit better. Camera app is the same. Uh, what's new? So, if you have your phone locked, you can just take the pen out and start taking notes. Really useful. You don't have to unlock the phone or do whatever with it. Just take the note there. Regarding the pen, there is something else changed. You can see the menu now. It's a bit different. You have the four standard, sorry, you have the four standard things here, and you can add two new things. In my case, one note and my email. Or you can just close this and keep using the pen without distraction from the pen menu. The, the other new thing and really cool feature is the edge panel feature we don't have edge on this phone but you can still have the panel and still can use it and it's really useful you can add your favorite apps here and your favorite contacts here and quick access it's good it's a useful feature also when you press the press and hold on the power off button you can see the menu you have standard things like power off, light mode, restart, and then also you have screenshots, flashlight, record for recording screen, and notifications like different modes and emergency mode. If you're using Samsung, you know what that is. So those are the new things, and they're pretty useful. And even though that we have more and more things added to this software, the phone still works way faster than before. And the battery is optimized. It's it's really good one. And if you don't mind wasting your guarantee, your warranty, I just can strongly suggest you to update this one. And if you want to keep your guarantee, just wait until Samsung released the S the Marshmallow Android. I don't know when that will be. We expected it in the beginning of this year. Now it's close to the middle of the year. Still no sign of it, only for some models in Poland. But that's not good enough for me, and that's why I decided just to switch to this one. So if you have any questions about this ROM, just give me a shout in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer if I know the answer. If I don't know it, I'll just check for you. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.